If you haven't realized it by now, WWE is making a very clear change is coming. We've been witnessing this for nine to 10 months now, and yet there is still more to come in. We're talking about it all in today's video, but we're going to kick things off with Drew McIntyre because there seems to be a lot of talk about Drew McIntyre and possibly going to AEW and well, what's really going on with Drew McIntyre? And we've talked about this a couple times and there seems to be a lot of confusion, but now a new report from PWInsider.com has come out that there has been a push within the WWE creative team to get Drew McIntyre back into storylines in time for Money in the Bank. It was noted that sources claim WWE pitched ideas for Drew McIntyre's return in meetings last week. Now, the general belief is that McIntyre won't be back until both sides can agree on how he will be used on WWE television moving forward. McIntyre's current deal actually expires in early 2024, and one of the reported holdups is basically how he's used on WWE television. Now, this is very interesting because there's a lot of people on the internet trying to push this narrative that maybe Drew McIntyre could potentially be going to AEW. And while anything is possible, I don't think that is very likely. I think Drew McIntyre is a top guy in the WWE. And for months, we've heard the rumors that Drew McIntyre was expected to be one of the top heels on WWE Raw. And look, Internet stuff could be kind of funny, right? We saw this narrative being pushed with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn being unhappy with WWE. And then, of course, they ended up staying in WWE. So if that is actually the case with Drew McIntyre, I would like to think that more than likely this is another similar situation. Drew McIntyre being involved in WWE television is very important. I think he's a great talent. I actually like watching Drew McIntyre compete as a heel. And when I look at WWE Raw, I think of some really great potential matchups between Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. I like the idea of Drew McIntyre and Gunther. I like the idea of Drew McIntyre even working with some emerging talent. Someone like JD McDonough could be really fun as well. Um, but ultimately, we'll see what WWE does. I think it is really important that they do bring him back and they obviously do it in a way where everybody is satisfied and that is going to be very intriguing to watch. Now, guys, we got to talk a little bit about WWE and some creative plans. And before we could talk about championship belts, we got to talk about talent being repackaged. Uh, Better Wrestling Experience, a.k.a. BWE, has come out and basically let the world know that in the next few months, we should be expecting some new new talent repackages and there are going to be quite a few updates on this so along the way if you're not subscribed to this channel you should definitely subscribe because I'm going to give you guys my input and I'm going to give you guys the updates on all of the major stories here but yes WWE superstars are expected to get repackaged and I think this is the right call WWE repackaging talent is the right call for several reasons but the one big one is refreshing television and that is really important. There's 300 and something days, 352 days a year, right? Something like that. I don't know. Uh, but there's so many days a year. And, and, and on this 52 weeks of live television programming, characters could get stale. It's important that WWE fixes that and corrects that by updating characters and repackaging people. And then there's people that haven't been utilized very well. And they are, you know, they, they can benefit from having a repackaged gimmick. Now, one thing that's really interesting is that BWE did actually acknowledge the fact that uh, Chad Gable could be starting a new storyline or a new feud here on WWE Raw. Several months ago, we've talked about Chad Gable being somebody who is expected to be pushed uh, on WWE television. Obviously, going into the rest of the summer, Chad Gable is one of the guys I would expect for people to really look into and, and just pay attention to because I think WWE, especially if you look at WWE Raw and everything that he's doing with Maxine and Otis, I think there actually is a purpose on that uh, or for that. And I think tonight we're going to begin to see it culminate. Um, and, and then, of course, you got to look at it from the perspective of WWE looking at talent who aren't being used. There's definitely some people they probably want to use, but what they were doing prior wasn't working. So I like the idea that Triple H has these surprises planned, has this idea that he is going to repackage talent and try to find a gimmick that works for them. And keep in mind, WWE trying to acknowledge NXT more as a third brand in the coming future tells me that a lot of people could benefit from this because there is so much television time to give. So really, WWE doesn't have the excuse of not using people unless they are hurt, injured, whatever it may be. 
But what about championship belts? Well, there's two of them that we specifically know are expected to happen, and it starts with the women's tag team championship belts. Now, uh, we know BWE has confirmed that WWE is planning to introduce more championship redesigns, and this is obviously uh, a very good idea for WWE. Again, we've been talking about this great reset for about seven to nine, ten months, whatever it may be. Uh, and I actually told you guys this when Triple H initially took over the show. I said, guys, don't get it twisted. WWE is going to reset. They are going to introduce new championship belt designs. They are going to merge titles and de-unify titles. They are going to change the branding and the look of these shows. And obviously, this is still a process, but we've already seen WWE kick things off and already do this for the women's belts. And then, of course, uh, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Now, keep in mind tonight on WWE Raw, Rhea Ripley is expected to have her new championship belt, which, again, should be a smaller white strap version of the World Heavyweight Championship belt, which aligns with what I've said about a month or two ago on the channel. So, again, if you guys aren't subscribed, you're missing some of the stuff before other people are even talking about it. We're having these conversations, but now WWE appears to be redesigning the Women's Tag Team Championship belt, and I'm guessing it's going to be a very interesting design, potentially uh, something similar to uh, you know what the NXT and the current Women's Tag belts look like. But I think for WWE to go this route and introduce a new championship belt, it looks like they're pressing the reset button on the women's tag division, right? The initial goal of the women's tag division was to have the belts defended on all three brands. Then the NXT women tag titles were created. Obviously, WWE went away from their previous vision. Now it looks like WWE is going back to that, and I think that is the right call by them introducing a new championship belt for the women's tag division could be a good thing. Obviously the booking has to follow as well, but that actually leads us to our final uh, tag team championships that are being recreated or redeveloped. And that is the men's championship belts. Now we've talked about this before on the channel for a very long time, but just as a refresher, for those who don't know, WWE could potentially be bringing new tag team championship belts for raw and for SmackDown. And this is the right idea. Now, just like the women's championship belts, they have been given new names, right? They've dropped the Raw and SmackDown branding. You should expect the same for the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championship belts. My guess is that WWE is going to revert back to WWE Tag Team Champions and World Tag Team Champions. And I think the World Tag Team Championship belts will be on Raw and the WWE Tag Team Championships will be on SmackDown. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are wondering what's going to happen here because if you subscribe to this channel before, then you know I talked about this about a year or two ago. WWE actually created new tag team championship belts, and they just never used them. And that was because the Usos and everybody, you know, they, they, they were still using the colored belts. Don't expect that. I think these tag team championship belts are going to be completely redesigned, of course, with WWE branding. But I don't think we're going to see red and blue straps. I don't think they're going to be the same look. I think they are going to look different, just like how it was during the Ruthless Aggression era. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm excited for the reset. What do you guys think? I'll see you next time.